Welcome to another Farm Town Misadventure with Charlie Many Layers and JJ. In this episode, we'll be looking at how to accept and send out neighbor requests. Enjoy. Okay, we're going to try something a little bit different this time in my view of the screen, mainly because I have to be, will have to be in other than the full screen, and I know a lot of folks play the games, I don't, and no sense showing them because this is about Farm Town, not about them. We're on... JJ's Farms, and we're going to take and go around here and look at how to accept neighbor request using your My Request tab. So, we'll slide it down here where you can actually see it. There you go. And you just put your old mouse on right there, and you click, and it loads. And of course, it loads, you know, a number of items from various people. And as you may already know, the gifts also is where the neighbor requests come from, or are accessible primarily. And also trains boost. I normally take and exchange all gifts for fuel tanks because I can always use fuel. I don't necessarily always need eggs. But that's to each person. And then I hit accept. And this is the system is running real slow. So I am going to pause right here while it's accepting those gifts. Okay. It got to send back to all, which I'm going to do. And I click on there. Get the mouse over there, Charlie. There you go. And I'm going to send them fuel tanks back. And this brings up a screen of shows all the friends that have sent me gifts this particular time. And I'm sending them fuel tanks. Okay, and when you do that, of course, you have, it It removes a lot of the gifts that were shown and highlights or enables you to see that you have train request as an example, which we accept, and at extra products, and here is a, a neighbor request. And I'm going to, I can ignore it, but I do accept all neighbor requests. And I can click there. And if I wanted to add this person, I could do so there. And then we have another here, train request, and another neighbor request. And again, it shows that. Then once we have filled that out, we can easily click it just by hitting my request again and continue on. And here's a new group and we'll do the same thing. I'm going to take and accept them. And because this is misadventures, we have a notice that somebody has sent us a request. And again, I will pause. Okay, well, it finally got to send. And I went ahead and send the people who had sent me gifts, sent them back fuel tanks. And this has left us like this. 
and we have a, a neighbor request here and I'm going to accept that and I'm going to send that person a neighbor request in return and I just do that by simply clicking on that button and it brings up this screen that goes to that name and then we click on the button and it's been sent and that will show up in her my requests folder just like it showed up for me and send out neighbor request is if they have sent you one now there is another way of doing this now the second way to send out neighbor request is by clicking on my neighbors just like that and this brings up a screen that will have all of your current farm town friends and neighbors listed you have this option of showing only the active ones now which I, I leave that off but you can do that and it takes a little bit of time to load depending upon how many neighbors and friends you have and okay it's come up and it's listed by name right now which means that the A's will be all before the B's etc and all the Lindas will be together and all the Sue's and Susan's and so forth well as well as the Catherine's okay if I wanted to check to make sure it was someone who is active recently I can also take and click on that and come down and just say activity okay and it changes the order of everything showing the last person who logged into farm time today just now most likely but and that's fine I'm going to stay there because uh, I'm going to go look for Catherine I think and I do that by pressing down the control C or control T and the letter F and then uh, let's see if I can get this in here well you're gonna have to take my word for it I'm putting in the name Catherine okay I'm doing that right now and because it's just out of sight and of course it immediately went and found the very first Catherine or the very last Catherine that uh, logged into Farmtown and this particular person is already a neighbor indicated by the blue and Catherine was last logged in on the day okay and then I have a total of three Catherines so in order of activity our one we're looking for is not the last one so let's see if she's the next one and here she is now this is the same one that I just got through sending a friend request to if you want to you can do this either from there or say I just decided well I want to have Catherine as a neighbor and seeing as she I am one of her neighbors I want to reciprocate I can click right on here as add neighbor and it's going to bring up this uh, display again and again Charlie has to go over here and click on that button and now you notice it went blank okay what it has done is it will have marked that to where 
we have sent out the request, okay? And in order to really show that, I'm going to have to completely reload that, but I will. Okay, I reloaded the My Neighbors, and now I'm going to take and change this from Activity to Name, okay? And there's going to be maybe a method in my madness, okay? So now they're in, in order of name. I've already got Catherine in my search, and I'm going to go to the first one. And, of course, that's the Catherine we had before. She's an existing neighbor. Now, here is the Catherine we just sent to. And if you can notice, it's a sl slight yellow color. And down here, it now says Remind. Or we could cancel the request. So, if you want to take and send another one at some point, you can always remind if they have not accepted that neighbor request. And that's the two basic ways of sending out neighbor requests. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to ask. Have a great day, and thank you.